Alright, what's up guys, this is ESP1Z1 again, and this is going to be the third video for the ESP series. In this video, we're going to cover 2D boxes, health ESP, and armor ESP, and a recoil crosshair. So by the end of the video, you should have something like this. Um, so we have the snap lines from the last video already, but then you'll have armor and health and a box and the recoil crosshair like this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on that. First thing you want to do is open the template from last video. Um, you're going to have to watch that video, the last two videos first. Last video I made a slight mistake. It still works fine, but um, it'll be a little more optimized if I do it like this. So we're going to create a line object here um, first. Um, and we're going to call that line out like we did in the um, drawing function last time here, except for... This is super inefficient, uh, creating and releasing it every time we want to draw a line. So we're going to do here, if we don't have one, um, then we're going to do this create function, um, rather, and then we can get rid of this here, and we can get rid of this release here, and then change this to access our line function. Alright, and then we're going to have to get a reference to that. Oh, we should be able to use that. Alright, so that's the first thing. Another thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to make a function here called draw a line that uses vector 2s instead, um, which is going to come in handy in a bit. Um, and that's just going to call this other one we have above. Yep. Like that. And then we have to make this in the... Um, drawing.h as well, but that's super easy. All right, now we're gonna set up the new things that we want for this video. Um, so one thing we're gonna have here is a function called get bone position, um, which is going to return a vector three of where the bone of a player is located. And we're gonna use this to get the head bone of uh, entities to draw a box around them nice and clean. Um, another thing we're gonna have here is we're gonna have a vector two called crosshair. Uh, 2D, which is the position of the crosshair on the screen, and in crosshair size, and that's going to be for drawing our crosshair stuff. And then we're going to have a couple member variables up here, um, like bone matrix, and armor value, and aim punch angle. Uh, bone matrix is going to be uh, an integer, it's going to be bone matrix, and it's going to be 0x. 2, 6, a, 8. But these are going to be, you're going to dump those yourself. I taught you how to dump them in the last video. Uh, these are just what I have right now. It's probably going to be different when you do it, so you're going to have to dump them yourself. Um, then this one is going to also be an int. Armor value, and then mine is V368, but it's probably different for you. Um, these actually don't change a whole lot, but um, you still should dump them yourself just to make sure and keep them updated, especially if it doesn't work. Uh, vector 3 for this one, aim punch angle, um, 0x, 0 2c. If you saw the recoil control uh, tutorial, we used this. It's basically going to be um, a better recoil control system since it's um, visual. Uh, it's a little easier to use, feels more natural. Alright, so now we have these set up. Um, we can go ahead and set up this get bone position function as well. I'm um, so going to hack HTTP. Uh, and then we can set this function up. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to have a uint pointer t called bone pointer, and that's going to be our bone matrix. And then we're going to have a vector three bone pose, and then we're going to set this bone pose um, to it's a float pointer dereferenced, and then it's bone pointer. So it's at the v matrix plus um, 0x30 times bone plus 0x0c. And what this is is um, whichever bone, ours is going to be 8 for the head bone, but they change depending on the model, but 8 is always the head bone for all of them. Um, this will change every once in a while, like it was 7 like sometime last year, but um, for now it's probably going to be 8 when you try it, so I'll show you that later. Um, but this is, uh, each bone is 30 bytes because it's, um, there's 3 positions and these are 10 apart, um, so basically yeah, it's going to be the bone pose plus the bone times 30 and then bone dot x or bone at y uh, bone pointer plus 0x30 times bone and since they're three, uh, 30 bytes like I said it's 1c which these positions are that far apart 
All right, and then same for Z, 0x30 times bone plus 0x 2C. And then we're gonna return bone post. And that's gonna get us our bone position and we can use that later. Um, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do here now is we're gonna make the crosshair function. Uh, the Yeah, so first of all, we'll just set our, uh, right now, I'll show you this. Um, we basically have just uh, this ugly crosshair. Um, yeah, you also have to include hack.h in here to get that vector reference, um, if I can spell, jeez. Right, so right now we have this really, really ugly crosshair. If I inject it, you can see. It's just a square, and that's, that's stupid. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get rid of that first of all. And we're gonna make a vec two. We're gonna make four vec twos for left, right, top, and bottom. Um, and then the reason we're gonna do that is because it's just a little easier to think about. So we're gonna set them all um, equal to the crosshair 2D at first. And then left is gonna be minus equals hack dot crosshair size. Um, R to X is e plus crosshair size. Um, B dot, B dot y is plus equals hack dot crosshair size and t dot y is minus equals hack crosshair size um, and then we're gonna draw these two lines from left to right um, and we're just gonna make it white for now because why not you can change this color if you want um, but I like white and then top to bottom the 3d color RGB Right, and then that should draw, well, first of all, we're gonna set up temp variable real quick. So, crosshair2d.x equals window width divided by two. Just so you can see this real quick. Right, and then that should make us draw a crosshair in the middle of the screen, um, which it doesn't because we're dog shit. Um, what did I do wrong here? Did I not set the crosshair size? Right, I have to set the crosshair size, it's not drawing anything. Now it should draw it. Right, so it has a little crosshair in the middle. And that's a little better already than our last crosshair. But now we're gonna make it recoil, it doesn't do that yet. Um, so in our hack loop down here, we're gonna have vector two p angle equals hack dot local in dot aim punch angle. This is actually a vector three, my bad, um, obviously. We're only gonna use two of the variables, but we still have to have that third one, just in case. Um, crosshair 2d.x equals window width divided by two minus window width divided by 90 times pang.y and crosshair 2d.y equals window height divided by two plus window height divided by 90 times pang.x and this is going to set our crosshair to the right position for the recoil. Um, these two lines of code I'm going to credit uh, hello why me um, because I spent like an hour trying to figure out a crosshair thing without looking it up online and I was like transforming the camera angle forward to a position and then like world was screening it and crap and it was super bad um, and then he's like you're an idiot just use this so now I use that um, oh yeah, we're also going to have to remove where we set these here, the temp ones. Um, but I ended up using that function I made for something else. So now this should work. Alright, so we have a cool crosshair. Um, and then now we can go ahead and make the 2D box and get rid of this as well. Uh, so now that we have that crosshair done, we'll go to drawing.h and we'll make a draw ESP box 2D. Um, and what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have vector two top, vector two bottom, in thickness, in D3D color. We'll call it color. All right, and then in drawing.cvp, we're gonna have this one's pretty simple actually. It's um, height equals top dot y minus bot dot y. And we're actually gonna wanna absolute value this because I'm lazy. Um, 
and it'll work better this way. And then in hack.h, we're gonna make this hash define for abs because it comes in handy later. Um, and then we're just gonna set that if x is less than zero, it's um, negative x, otherwise it's positive x. And if you don't know what this is, this is a ternary operator, you can look it up, it's really cool. Uh, it's basically like a mini if statement, if, and then this is true, and then false. Um, but I'm not going to explain that super hard. I pretty much just did, but you know. Um, all right, so now that'll let us use it here. And then we're going to use uh, vector2 top left, top right. I like using uh, vector2s for each corner, not just like two corners, because it's easier to think about. And then we're going to have vector2 bottom left and bottom right. And then we're going to draw a line from top left to top right um, with thickness and color. And then we're going to draw a line from bottom left to bottom right thickness, color, and then we're going to draw a line from top left to bottom left, thickness, color, and draw a line from top right to bottom right, thickness, color. All right, now we need to set these up. So top left dot x equals top dot x minus our width, which is height divided by 4. Um, and then our top right dot x is the same but backwards top x plus our width which is height divided by 4 Because um, our width is just going to be half our height um, Then we have to offset it from the center And then top left dot y equals top right dot y equals top dot y Since that's going to be the same we want it to be even um, And then down here it's basically the same Bottom left dot x equals bot dot x minus height divided by 4 I can type, uh, and then bottom right dot x equals bot dot x plus height divided by 4. And then bottom left dot y equals bottom right dot y equals bot dot y. And that's going to do our, um, our ESP box function. Uh, and then we're going to have to tell us when to use that. So we already have the integer, the integer, what, the entity position right here. Um, and, but we're going to want the entity, uh, head so because we're going to draw from the head to the base um so we're going to have another thing called uh int pose no int head 3d and that's going to equal to our get bone pose like we said earlier it's going to be our current int and then eight like i said earlier as well which is our head um so inside of here where we are we already got our int pose so we don't want to do this function again so we'll do if hack the world to screen um and then Int head 3D, uh, int head 2D. So if we're if our head's on screen, we can do this. Um, draw ESP box 2D, int pose 2D, and then our int head 2D. Um, I just blanked out there. Sorry about that. Um, and then that should literally just draw our ESP box, our simple basic ESP box. If we inject it, yep. Um, now there's one small thing we're gonna tweak here. Um, which is, you see it cut, it goes straight, the head bone is like right at this line, but um, we want it to be like above just so that it's perfect. Um, so we can do that really easily. Um, and the reason we did it this way instead of just drawing a rectangle is so that it always like covers most of their body. Because you see how they're slanting forward, if it was a normal one it would be kind of like just weird and awkward looking. And if we're like kind of above them it would, like right here for example, it would draw a random box somewhere else. Um, so in order to fix that head thing. Um, where we set up the int head 3D, uh, we can just add about like 8 to the position of the head uh, on the Z. Um, it'll just raise the box up about 8 units in game, not pixels, because if you add it to the pixels and you get far away, it'll like not scale right. But this will this will work good. And then now it looks nice. Um, and the same for our teammates over here. Right. All right, so now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be making the health bars and the armor bars. Um, so in order to do that, we're just in here as well. And this is actually a little more complicated than the actual box because we have to like scale it with the slant of the box, but it's still not hard. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our height, which is our int pose 2d.y minus our int head 2d.y. And that's the height of our actual ESP box. And then we're going to have an integer called int dx. Um, which is delta x, and it's our change in x from our int head 2d um, and our int uh, or yeah our imposition 2d and our int head, um, and then we're gonna have an, a float called health percentage, 
and that's going to be our current and dot health divided by 100.f and then we're going to have armor percentage and this is just our um our percentage of how much armor and health we have to draw the bar correctly and then down here we're going to have vector twos for bottom of health um top of health bottom of armor and top of armor and then we're going to have int health height and that's going to be equal to our height times our health percentage and an armor height equals our height times armor percentage and that's how tall our health bar is going to be um and then we're going to set these up so our bottom health dot y is going to be equal to our bottom armor dot y and it's going to be equal to our int pose 2d dot y since those are always going to be right at the bottom even but then our x is going to be a little bit different because we have to get that uh, width in there. Um, so our bottom health dot x equals int pose 2d dot x minus our height divided by 4. And then minus 2 pixels to offset it a little bit. Um, and our bottom armor dot x is the same, int pose 2d dot x. But this time we're going to add our width um, and then add 2 pixels to offset it. Um, and then top health dot y equal to our int head 2d dot y plus our height minus our health height and that's going to factor in how tall it's going to be and set it equal to that and then top armor dot y equals int head 2d dot y plus height minus armor height and then the last one which is the most complicated but it's still pretty easy um i forgot to capitalize this is going to be our top health by x and our top armor dot x and that's going to be in post 2d dot x minus our width divided by 4 minus our offset and then minus dx times health percent and that's going to kind of like factor in the slope in order to make it um, even with the other um, slant and then this one we're going to add our width we're going to add our two pixels and then do the same thing dx times armor percent um, and that's going to be it for, no, first of all, we have to draw our lines to, um, so bot health, we're going to draw the lines from bot health to top health and two, and then I'm going to use these colors, um, cause I like them, uh, for armor, we're going to use a green and then for, uh, or for health, we're going to use a green, I mean, and for armor, we're going to use a blue. So bot armor, top armor. Um, 255, 30, 144, 255, and I'm colorblind, so if these look terrible to you, um, that's sad for you, because I don't care, really. You could change them really easily, and if you can't figure out how to change them, you should probably just, like, uninstall, like, CSGO and everything. Um, and now we're going to have some nice armor and health bars. Um, and this is cool, because, like, you can see how much health they have. If they're, like, super low on HP, you'll know, like, oh, this guy's low, so I should kill this guy first, and then just spray them or whatever you want to do and it just makes it look nicer than a little crappy box um so that's it for this video next video we'll cover uh 3d 3d boxes and a headline like a view angle esp um and i might throw in a velocity esp just because i think it's cool um and that'll show like what direction entities and yourself are moving and stuff but that's it for this one um if you have any questions just ask him on the forum um thank you for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video again guidedhacking.com slash donate patreon.com slash guidedhacking please support us so that we can continue to make videos and peace out